are about giant robots. Really? Mm -mm. Some are about snowboarding children. Mm. Yes, the snowboard kids. It sounds like a Saturday morning cartoon that's a glorified ad for toys and sugary cereals. But in fact, it's a Nintendo DS game. There still hasn't been a decent sports game for the DS. Will snowboard kids change all that? Um, I doubt it. Here's our review. Snowboard kids! Until now, if you wanted to play a portable snowboarding game, your choices were scarcer than fresh powder in August. Come on already! Well, Snowboard Kids DS for the Nintendo DS is here to change that. Yeah, jackpot! This sequel to the popular Nintendo 64 franchise is an unholy combination of Mario Kart and SSX. But sadly, the results are less than steezy. It blows! Oh, and if you're wondering what steezy means, it's a snowboarding term that means cool. You gotta be kidding me! Uh, just, just take our word for it. You can pick your favorite kid and hit the slopes. Oh, is there anything cuter than a kid on a snowboard? Well, okay, maybe a teddy bear on a snowboard. Or a newborn bunny on a snowboard. Or a robot on a snowboard. Steeziness levels at maximum. <laughs> okay, maybe not the robot. So what's new in Snowboard Kids DS? Well, first of all, these kids aren't really kids anymore. They're teenagers. Teenagers whose interests have changed from just getting steezy on the slopes to something more hormonal. What the heck? See, Brad here has a crush on Nancy. Meanwhile, madly in love with Nancy, Tommy enters the tournament out of desperation to win her attention. Wow, it's like Cool Borders meets the OC. The character models may have been upgraded to make the borders appear more adult, but they're still pretty goofy looking. Take Jam here, for example. Hey, man. Yes, he's a Jamaican snowboarder. I Irimon! It's kind of like the unofficial sequel to Cool Runnings. Unfortunately, someone decided that it would be fun to add a bunch of DS gimmicks to the mix. This isn't good. For example, if you get knocked out, you have to shout into the microphone to wake your racer up. It's a fun idea, but in reality, you'll just look like a crazy person screaming into your handheld. <laughs> Plus, the game sometimes requires you to tap the bottom touch screen to get back on course. It's incredibly distracting and usually just causes major smash-ups. Ouch. Come on already. Despite the lack of analog control, the steering feels tight. Oh, yeah. If the makers of Snowboard Kids DS had just created a straightforward sequel, the game might have been a fun distraction while we wait for the next Winter X Games. But thanks to the annoying, tacked-on, dual-screen functionality, we've got a stale fish in our hands. And that's definitely not steezy. <laughs> Door. Snowboard Kids DS gets a 2 out of 5. That was just like Cool Runnings, mm -hmm. except for the bobsled going junk candy. Right. Now, the best DS games, they find fun ways to use the stylus. This is not fun. It's annoying. Stop trying to pass off annoying as fun. Haven't we built a career on passing off annoying as fun? Do you mean annoying or snide? Well, both.